What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another awesome video today. Hopefully, it's awesome. I hope. Please be awesome. I actually kind of hope it's awesome, but whatever. Besides the point. Today, we're going to do an unboxing of a car today and look at a couple cars I have um, gotten in the time I wasn't recording. So, I first want to start off with the first car I got in the time I wasn't recording, aka. Um. I don't remember. Um. I won't remember these names. Okay, I'm gonna have to do the the, the the bad thing here. I feel filthy about this, but okay, here we go. Oh, I'm doing that for my computer. I just need to see. Okay. Um. Jeez, this always happens to me. Hold on, I'm sorry. I just kind of need this to do it. Hold on, default browser. It's okay. <sighs> Disney Pixar car. Bring car. I'm gonna search a brain car for no reason. Bro, well, image it, image it, image. Oh my god. It's his name is um his name is oh my god. Doug Frankel. Thank you. Doug Frankel. So, here's Doug Frankel for you guys. Um, probably didn't cut that out of the video. So, yeah. Doug Frankel. Here's Doug Frankel. Um, he's like a nice gray, like, older kind of car. Like, a nice older car. I like how it's, like, it kind of emulates an old car, but it's not really accurate to the movie. I mean, to the show. The show had, like, a bit, like, a van. Had a minivan. But instead, they put this old car as Doug Frankel. But, I mean, it's fine. It's what it is and what it is. But... I mean, at least to put effort into this, but it looks cool. Like, look at all the brain detail, the brain. Yeah. Okay, brain. I like how that, though. I like how that's cool. I wonder who Doug Crankle is in real life, though. I should name him in real life, I mean, that's kind of cool if they would name him in real life. Okay, next car is Ivy. You know, no, Ivy was um, an Amazon exclusive. What is it, Ivy? Nope, I'm not doing that. Okay. <laughs> But, um, I like how the Ivy's done. I like how this, I don't like how, the, I, I hate, yeah, they canceled it off time, but. This was a single. This was a, you know, exclusive. I mean, okay, this is, this is more the size of the Fluss Planipus. But, this is more of a size of the Fluss. But this is, I like how cool it looks. Like, I like how she has these big tires. I like how it's a monster truck, especially. I like how we got, oh my god, Ivy. Okay, I just got this car a couple days ago, but Leroy Hemming, I finally got Leroy Hemming. The only car that's not a car on the road car is actually a Horse 3 car. But Leroy Hemming, I actually just got, I've been, I needing this car, I've been needing this car for a while. Because, um, I can finally, like, add it, because I've been needing Leroy Hemming. I also need, like, the three other cars besides the cuts, and I need, um, yeah, I need, I, for some reason, I still need, um, um, Louise Nash, River Scott, and Junior Moon, but I'm glad I still got this for once, and I'm glad. So, um, yeah, I just, I'm kind of glad that I got that. 
So I'm kind of glad I got this, but this is very nice looking. I love, I love how the car looks, and I love how it's like a nice old timey car. And I like how it's one of the very little of the retro racers that are actually small. Um, I mean, like this is the second one that probably comes close in size. To Leroy Hemming is probably Jet Robinson, and I think he's like the closest to coming because him and Jet Robinson are smaller. But I think Jet Robinson is the smallest retro racer we've gotten so far. Then we'll come Leroy. Leroy, it's just this length is different. As you can see, but really it just, it all depends on that because the other cars are pretty bulky. I'll say that, but like Joe Don Jackson's kind of bulky too. I think these are two pretty good. But yeah, I already, I got Jet Robinson ages ago. Yeah, Leroy Hemming. Yeah, how does it say there? Let's get my person focus. World's fastest stock sedan wow stock sedan he's a stock sedan he has 300 he has 355 h dot p dot i don't know what that is revolting yes revolting yeah i know that he, um fairday valley the the fierce he's from a 300 orlando florida full power and long lasting that's cool it does say Leroy Hemming, though, as you can see right there. It's kind of cool. All the retro racer, I believe, have their names signed on there. So that's Leroy Hemming, as you can see it there. It's like, I think it says it here. Yeah, Jet Robinson says it there, too. But yeah, it's kind of cool. I like this. So, time to the good juicy parts. It's been a while since I do unboxings, and I thought it was cool I do an unboxing right now. So we got the Pit Stop Asaurus. In the back here, it does say, as seen, the cars on the road. Uh, we got Road Rumbler, Might and Queen. I don't really go for those. I we do. I do. Um, this is um. What is this one? Um, uh, May Pillars Rev, the Flush Planipus. Forgot his name. Okay, and then Nedlar. I don't forget, but I think that's cool. I think I like this. Definitely cool. So. Let's get into the pit stop source here. So we're gonna do a classic Mitchell unboxing. It's been a while since I've done this on camera. I've done most of my unboxing. Oh, yeah. Eh. Yeah, yeah. oh Anipus. Pit stop Asaurus. Okay. Jeez, sorry, the camera. Okay, I do have some complaints about this. Not the diecast. The diecast is beautiful. I like this. I like this. I never it's kind of weird. But why in the world does he have tires? I mean I mean, how the heck, bruh? Like, what was with this? Like, I don't know. There, I didn't know there was um pities. Like, I mean, like, I don't get this, but I really don't care about the tires. I'm really gonna pull the tires like there. I'm okay. Let's take a look at this. This is a very cool looking diecast. Oh, shout out to Gavin Collectibles for this release from this diecast. I'll put his link in the description. So you can always, always see him. Yeah, you can always see him. I'm always going to get cars. This one's like $14. I mean, it's small. I get it. It's a new car. I'm glad I got the Pit Stop Asaurus. I think the next one I want to get is the Flush Planipus. Probably. Yeah, that's like the other, only other dinosaur. I just want to get rid of the dinosaurs off of this mark right now. So I can just get the two die-cast dinosaurs. And when the other one comes out, I'll get that one. But this is kind of cool. I like this. I like how both, I like how they're keeping with the design when it comes to the small ones that actually look like actual cars from the modern day. They keep this like this little hump here, I know. That's kind of cool. I, lo I love this car. This looks so cool. And it's not like plastic. It literally like, has all those cool stuff. I love how they put details to those tires. I mean, this is a nice looking car. It does remind me though of how um, Cape May, um, um, Riswall did have these like these dirty done tires. I mean, that's, this is a very decent detail. I love it. I love that detail. I mean, the Pit Stop Asaurus, I like it. It's cool. And I love how they, it's like, a, I don't know what it's really representing. It looks like a caveman or like, also kind of looks like, um, what was it? Um, a woolly mammoth too. If you think about those big things on the woolly mammoth. But, um, yeah, I think I like the Pit Stop Asaurus. So here's Leroy Hemming here. We'll put, um, Doug Frankel. Ivy, best I can can here. Hold on, we'll get this. Like the camera here, it's a little complicated there. And, um, yep, hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.